So earlier I was asked, well, if ability points are so important for a bleed mage, why don't you just go mage mage? And I started to think about it, and I said, I don't know. I believe in power weapon uh, overrides the, the, I guess, the boost you get from the five ability points, but I don't know right now. So... What I went and did is I tested both. Now, I want to show you something. I'm, I'm going to be throwing a lot of information at you. Uh, so please uh, just try to follow along. It is, uh, there, there's some complicated stuff going on here. Lot, lots of maths. Lots and lots of maths. Everybody's favorite maths. And uh, myself, I can't really math that well, but I math well enough to... Uh, figure out this the answer to this so right now I have my mage archer build with empower weapon and frenzy okay so frenzy allows me to have a, a max attack speed without an aether so uh, Wendy Butt on the uh, on the Discord channel said, "Well, why don't you just put an Aether on something, and you won't have to worry about attack speed if you're a Mage Mage." And I said, "All right, yeah." But what I found out is that the Mage Mage is completely reliant on the Aether. Regardless, we'll get it. We'll get into that in just a minute. Let's uh, let's look at the mage archer. So th this is my normal farming gear. Um, albeit I don't have my uh, execute on right now because I'm just I'm doing damage. So I'm trying to put as much shit together as I can to show you this outcome. Like like putting all my stuff on. One missile, and remember, I do this with missile because it, it's easier to see, and and it's a good translation for what magic missile is going to be. Damn, damn it! Stop doing that, my little orbit. All right. So seven. I'll just say seven billion. Okay, isn't that right? Yeah, seven. Thousand million. See, I told you about my math. Anyway, I'll say seven thousand million because that's what it says, and I'm not gonna try to figure out all those extra zeros. Seven thousand million because I suck at math. That's what my regular missile does with empower a weapon up and everything like you know just all that stuff. Now, when I want to go extra damage, I'm gonna throw on this chaos star. And that's going to boost my damage up big time because it gives me ability points, gives me extra set bonus, things like that. So, I'm hitting for, I'm bleeding for right under 11,000 million. Right under, yep. Right under it. So that's with all my damage gear on. It's interesting to look what happens when I do this. Now, I'm going to go Mage Mage. Yeah, it's not irreversible. You do one fucking run of the goddamn arena and it's reversible. Not even a run, like a half a run. Anyway, whatever. Okay, I, I'm just, I'm not going to worry about putting points in anything else. I'm just putting points in the stuff that matters right now. I'm putting the points into these. And it's just for, and in case I need to get away, because in case I fuck up, which I don't plan on it. All right, so what I did, 
if you remember what the damage was with this Aetheron, I said it was about 7,300 million, or it was like, yeah, something like that. Um, 7,000 million. So, it is more. Hitting is more. And, and, if you look at this, you put this on, you're going to hit for even more. And it's going to bleed for more. Now, herein lies the problem, though. So, like I said, it is completely reliant on Aether. If I put in this Aether, then I get my attack speed up. But, if I don't have this in, my attack speed goes down. Now, you gotta look at this Chaos Star. What is being added into it? What's being added into it is three ability points, um, extra intellect, and extra magical damage. But I also have now I have to fill up my attack speed, so I gotta put in dexterity gems. Which is going to take away from my magic fine. I got to put in three. To up my attack speed. Without Aether. So. Why not just take this Aether and then put it into this Chaos Star. Well that is an option. But I'm going to be losing the bonus I get from the um, Demon Bone. Which in turns decreases my damage and puts my damage uh, a little bit lower than than I would have it with the Mage Archer. I have a theory about why why Mage Archer is doing basically the most amount of damage with being able to have all this stuff on this have um all the all my gems all my topazes i believe it's the way empower weapon interacts with percent to magic damage on the australian i, I know it says base damage but i i have noticed that the okay. damage goes up with Empower Weapon as I have the uh, Magical Damage, which I believe Magical Damage affects base damage. I'm not entirely sure, but whatever the Mage Archer, based on not being reliant on Aether, you're able to put a Demon Bone into a Neck and you're not you don't have to put in dexterity gems if you don't want to wear an aether um, but if you don't wear an aether your run speeds down so with this mage mage there are in theory and and on paper yes he does more damage but in practicality and in use no he the mage mage does not do more damage you you sacrifice too much to get where the mage archer is in order to do the same amount of damage so let me say that for a bleed mage i don't know about a crit mage i believe mage 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 for a crit mage is still the best but because everything is is base damage mage archer is still the way to go with the um with bleed i i've tested this is my third time to test it i have gone through so many of these um just to make sure and what i found out is yeah 
Mage Archer is the way to go for the Bleed Mage. Now, if y'all have questions or comments or theory crafting on this, please put it down in the comments. Uh, contact me on Discord, whatever. And, um, yeah, we'll talk about it. Y'all have a good one.